So when it comes to crafting compelling stories, writers find themselves at a crossroads. Should they plan out the story in beforehand or should they just write by the seat of their pants? My name is Natalie, I'm the host of A Year of Writing and welcome to my podcast. In this episode, we're going to discuss the different kinds of methods that you can use when planning a story. So there are mainly two different kinds of approaches that writers take when it comes to uh, planning out their stories. One of them is called, you know, plotting, outlining. And one of them is called pantsing. Um, and there are some merits to both uh, methods. And that is why I wanted to talk about it in this episode. And a little backstory here. I used to be a pantser or a gardener, as uh, George R. R. Martin calls it. So I could just sit down and write, but you know, without having any idea what the story was about, who the characters were or anything, I would just, you know, make it up as I went along. But I did, you know, after a few years of writing, I did realize that that approach, um, made me end up with quite weak stories. So, you know, I did not follow the, um, the different character, no, the different plot points. I did not not follow the plot points. I did not make, you know, I did not create enough suspense in the story. So editing took forever, and in the end, I actually ended up deleting, you know, throwing away two first drafts because, yeah, I I had to start over because it didn't work. It wasn't enough suspense, and no matter, you know, I had basically had to rewrite the entire story, anyways. So I figured that I would try plotting instead. And when I did this, I realized that first of all, you know, I realized that for me, coming up with a plan beforehand actually worked quite well. I, you know, I knew all the uh, plot points in the story. I knew the character arcs. I also had a great overview, which made it possible for me to see where I could... uh, you know, where the story had its weak links and stuff like that. And that was super important to me because I want to write great books. I want to write suspenseful books. And yeah, and for me, the way to do that and to not end up having to edit a book 20 times, to, for me, the way to do that is to plot my stories. But I know that for some people, it's not. So that's why I want to dis- discuss the pros and cons. And also, you know, when I plot my stories, I, I only, you know, first I look at the big picture and, uh, uh, I look at the big picture and I, you know, I come up with what's the hook inciting incident, the first pinch point, midpoint, first plot point and stuff like that. And then I look at the character arcs. And after that, I usually make a very rough, um, chapter outline and with the chapter outline, I mean, it's like one sentence per chapter. So, so one sentence is going to turn into roughly 2000 words, which means that I still, I'm still able to have a lot of creative freedom and like my characters can still do unexpected things like going to Paris without me knowing, uh, or without me planning for them to do so. So that's still a lot of fun. And for me, that's the way to the way that I want to work but what about you guys have you tried the different kinds of approaches and see the pros and cons if not then uh, well yeah I'm gonna go through everything so let me know what you think so yeah let's take a step back and uh, and talk about what's plotting yeah so plotting as I said before is when the uh, author plans well probably more or less the entire story they create an outline with the uh, with all the plot points, with all the character arcs, the subplots and everything. And, you know, they know basically everything that's going to happen or more or less. Um, And this can serve as a roadmap, you know, from beginning to end to see. Uh, As I said, for me, I can see where the story is a bit weaker or where I need to work harder on it. It gives me a great overview uh, to see if the story even holds. One of the primary benefits of this is that it actually provides a roadmap uh, for what to write next. So I never have to feel stuck when I'm writing. I always know where uh, where to go from here, which also means that I don't get writer's block. And even if I feel a little bit stuck, you know what I can do? 
I can like this morning I actually uh, decided because I had three main characters uh, so every third chapter is uh, from one of their points of views and I realized that I need to focus on just one character at, at a time because otherwise it's so confusing going into different characters head all the time so now I'm writing uh, every third chapter uh, and then I'm going to go back and write every third chapter for the other car characters as well but so you know when you have roadmap it's okay you can write whichever scene you want to write or whichever chapter that you want to write. Plotting also allows for greater control of the pacing of the story. I know from the beginning where the, uh, you know, where it's supposed to go faster, where I need to slow down and stuff like that. And I guess the greatest benefit for me is that I can see from the beginning where, where I need to work on things and where it needs to, you know, get more dramatic or whatever for for the story to become great. But there are some drawbacks as well, of course. I know that some writers feel that this, uh, you know, they feel too contained when they outline and they don't feel like that they get as much of a creative freedom as they do when they're just panting. So I do understand that. But for me, it does not have to be like that. But I will get back to the, uh, we'll get back to that a little bit later and also you know if you already have an outline there's no not that much room for you to explore and let your characters uh, try different routes and see what happens and see them evolve in a more organic way so that is the drawback but what about pantsing the gardener's approach so pantsing is basically that you as a writer you write very organically you just write spontaneously whatever comes to mind and see what happens in the story writers who use this approach they dive head in with uh, dive head into the story without that much of a plan allowing the story to unfold organically and the thing is that pantsing can be super liberating when you as the writer you know allow yourself to follow your instincts and just you know explore unexpected narratives and this can actually lead to some surprising plot twists an unexpected character development, which creates a more uh, immersive uh, reading experience. However, panting can also be daunting. If you, you know, it's a little bit like writing on inspiration. And if you run out, then it's hard to know where to go from there. And I know some writers who actually, you know, they hit a road bump and like the way that they wished in the story there's no way to go from there and they get stuck at 30,000 words and can't write any further so not having a roadmap and not knowing where you're going can actually lead to you getting writer's block and, and it's also very common that you will end up with big plot holes and stuff like that so but like how does how does the pros do it how does the prose do it? So Brandon Sanderson, he says that he plans out the story. He does a lot of world building. So he's a plotter. But when he sits down and writes, he will actually cast the uh, main characters for the story. So there he is a little bit more of a pantser. He will write a few chapters with different kinds of characters to see who will fit the story. And I found this super interesting. It's so cool to actually cast different characters and see what happens. On the other hand, Stephen King says that he can, you know, that he does not plan his stories, that he writes quite organically. And he says that if you, if you were to plan, that that would kill the joy of writing and exploring. If you ask me, finding the right balance is the way to go here. You know, some writers prefer one or the other, but I would say that they can actually complement each other. If you find some sort of middle ground that suits you. If you're like me, I'm a little bit more to the plotting side but I still pants my way through the chapters I don't plan out every scene I will still be fairly organic which also means that some scenes will have to go when I edit because you know they don't support the story they don't drive the story forward but it's still a very organic and fun way for me to create the story and uh, to write the only like thing that you have to watch out for here though if you do some sort of hybrid thing here like me is for like keep an eye on the outline so that your characters don't start running away with you doing stuff that they're not supposed to make sure that you still 
you're still going down this that road that you want to go and you know that the characters are developing the way that you plan for them to do and i mean in the end it's all about what works for you as an individual writer try to find your way here um and experiment a little bit but you know do watch out for people that say that they don't plan the story at all then if you don't then you know congratulations but do watch out for plot holes and you know if the story isn't working or if you get feedback from your beta readers or from your editor then you need to you know you still need to learn story structure and understand those pieces for the story to actually be compelling and interesting and i think that's what a lot of pantsers miss because they just write for fun and then they think that that the reader is going to have as much fun but the reader is not in your head the reader does not have the same you know you know the entire world and you see stuff that they don't see because you haven't put it on the paper so you know just be aware of that and and try to find what works for you you know um i am an advocate of plotting and planning as you already know but i do see the benefits of pencing a little bit too of course um you know writing is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be creative and yeah i guess this is why we have editing as well because you know the first draft is us telling ourselves the story so it's fine but yeah in conclusion i mean for me switching from being a pantser to a, becoming a plotter that was life changing i i write so much faster i write much better stories and you know i'm still developing though you know i'm still learning but that made a huge difference for me and it also makes sure that i don't get writer's block i don't get stuck in my manuscripts and I can also, you know, test the outlines on uh, beta readers if I feel insecure about a story, like is it working or not? And yeah, and that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.